So I really thought I'd do something a bit different for this video as I've buggered up my hand with a firework. It's not really seriously injured, but it's gonna take probably a few more weeks to heal. So this has left me with a bit of free time on my hands. And I thought what I'd do with this video is have a look at the places I go to get kind of inspiration. And just, you know, having that enjoyment of watching other people in the workshop making their own layers. When I first started making fishing layers, which is probably about 10 years ago now, there wasn't really a huge amount of information available on, on really how you go about that process. I kind of collected a lot of old books. Um, really, to make a, a serious start, the, the kind of places I went to were people's blogs like Miko of Solar Falls. And, and just to, to see his work at that time was really just you know phenomenally inspirational. And it was really his blog and then his videos that, that kind of kicked me off on my process of making my own. If you're new to layer building, you know, it won't be long before you come across his work, but I'll post a link below in the videos. And it's always with a bit of excitement that I see that he's released a new video. If you're looking for other videos related to the subject of layer making or craft or fishing, I do have a separate blog, which is unimaginatively called the, the Homemade Layer Blog. Really, the, the point of that for me is to feature other people and promote other people who are doing this. Despite making how-to videos, I don't really like telling people what to do. My videos are normally about what I do. You know, and that's not always the best way or the easiest way or the quickest way or the cheapest way, to be honest. It's just how I make fishing layers. And there's always an alternative, and it's great to see those alternatives. But realistically, if you're watching these videos and you want to see more, the easiest way to do that is to support these people who are creating them. And that doesn't have to be financial, but just simple things like leaving a comment on their videos to tell them that you've learned something from it or you enjoyed it, sharing them on whatever social media you've got. I think genuinely, it's always going to encourage people to know that what they're doing has got some value. One of the longest running YouTube channels on this subject that I've been dipping into for years is from a guy called Dieter from Germany, whose bathtub I probably know better than my own as I've watched him produce kind of hundreds of layers and test them in there. Recently, one of the places that I really enjoy going to is a, a channel from Denmark called Splish Splash. It really covers some basic subjects well, like making soft plastics, making molds, but he does it in a way that's kind of simple, accessible, no messing around. And also he catches a fair few fish with what he made. One of the highlights of the year was getting invited to Ireland by Macek of um, Mel Fishing Layers to come and do some fishing and some filming with him. I have met other layer makers before, but I've never really gone and, and been that close to the way they work and filmed them in that way. As well as holding down a full-time job, and having that side job of making layers. He also makes videos and explains what he does. And again, I'll post a link to his work. I went actually back for a second trip to Ireland this year to meet Macek again. And I also did some filming of him painting up a layer. And this is a layer for a giveaway. It's not to promote my channel, but if you'd like a chance at winning this layer, you really need to go to his last video, which I'll leave a link to, leave a comment and also subscribe to get entered in the draw. I've edited together a kind of short sequence of him painting that layer and put it to some music which should be playing about now. Yeah. 